Phyllis, did you happen to bring a poem with you? Because uh, um, she was the first African American to publish a book here in the colonies, okay? And one of the first great poets here. Oh my gosh, is that your poem about Georgie? <gasps> He's going to want to hear Yay. that. Oh, boy. All right, cool. Anyway, we got Phyllis Wheatley here. Uh, it's a privilege to have her. Let's welcome her up here. Okay, she's a great author. Go for it, Phyllis. Oh, whoa. Oh, here she comes. Hello. My name is Phyllis Wheatley. I was one of the first... I was one of America's first poets and the first African-American to publish a book. Ooh. As a young girl, I was kidnapped and brought to live in the colonies as a slave. The Wheatley family treated me as their own daughter and gave me a good education. Yay! I wrote poems about my Christian faith, famous people, and, and the fight for independence. I even wrote a poem about George Washington. I was, I was, in, I was invited to read it. He enjoyed it so much, I was invited to read it to him. I gained my personal freedom and was a strong supporter of the fight for the of freedom for the colonies. Oh, are you going to take your poem over to Georgie? He's so excited to hear it. Oh, <laughs> he loves it. Good job. You guys give Phyllis a big round of applause. I have never seen a student provoke so much reaction from other students. Way to go. Yay! I give you 75 points. I'm impressed. Whatever you do. 75 points. Yeah! 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 All right, so uh, who knows how to hold a flag? I got a question. Who knows how? All right, cool. Let's get Rich Tom. Right? Okay, Rich Tom, come up here. And I also want to get.